Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman, a.k.a. the Football History Dude, and I'm here to help you finish your Christmas shopping list and let everyone else over there stiff arm their competition while trying to fight off that trip to fan on Turkey Night. Now, what we did was we partnered with Rochester Sports Autographs, the largest JSA authenticated autograph distributor in the United States, where you can get up to 75% off over 30,000 autographed sports collectibles during this holiday season. They have something for everyone. But how is RSA able to offer such great deals on JSA authentication, you ask? Well, they do this by making deals directly with athletes so there are no extra markups, and they choose to then pass that savings on to you, the customer. Now, all orders from Rochester Sports Autographs are top quality and shipped to your door with top authentication and a money-back guarantee. But hurry up because customers are so stark raving mad for RSA that memorabilia sells out daily. All you have to do is head over to shoprsa.com forward slash SHN. Again, that's shoprsa.com forward slash SHN. So don't wait to bring home your favorites and own a piece of sports history for you and the loved ones on your shopping list this holiday season. Now it's time to take a sports break. A look at sports history on a daily basis. Hello, my friends of sports history. This is Darren Hayes of the Sports Jersey Dispatch. Welcome once again to the Pig Pen, your place for all things great in sports history. And welcome to your sports break for November 23rd, as we're going to talk about some of the greatest athletes that had some great moments in sports history on November 23rd and the jersey numbers that they wore that day. But before we get to that, let's make sure that you know a little trick that you can do with your smart speaker or your AI, whatever you want to call it. You All you have to do is you know, hit your keywords for whatever smart speaker that you have and say, hey, take me to the latest podcast episode of Jersey's Dispatch or of Pigskin Dispatch. And it'll take you right to those episodes, hands-free, and it'll play right through your speaker. If you're sitting there doing some work in the kitchen or you know, doing changing the tires on the car or whatever in the garage, real easy way to do it. And uh, I think you'll find it very handy to do. So we appreciate you listening. Now, those jersey numbers for November 23rd we're going to talk about today are number 33, 25, 30, 20, number 1, 22, 99, and 14. We'll start off in the year 1947 on the 23rd of November, and the Washington Redskins quarterback at that time was number 33, Sammy Baugh. And on this day, against the Chicago Cardinals, sorry Joe Ziemba, he threw six touchdowns in that game in a 45-21 Redskins victory. On November 23, 1960, Los Angeles Dodgers outfielder number 25, Frank Howard, was voted the National League Rookie of the Year for his outstanding season he'd had that year. And on the 23rd of November, 1962, the LA Dodgers again have a, a shortstop, Mari Willis, who was number 30 that year. He was named the National League Most Valuable Player. November 23, 1965, the 31st Heisman Trophy Award was sent out, and USC running back number 20 Mike Garrett won the award for his great uh, running and rushing in 1965 season. Uh, November 23, 1966, Chicago outfielder number one Tom Aggie was voted the American League Rookie of the Year for the White Sox that season. November 23, 1984, the Boston College quarterback number 22, Doug Flutie, passed for 472 yards, including the game-ending 48-yard touchdown Hail Mary pass to end the game and defeat the Miami Hurricanes 47-45 to in one of the greatest games in football history. Well, talking about greatest games in football history, you go over to our other site, Pigskin Dispatch. We have the greatest games every day on the anniversary of the greatest games in football history, both uh, college and professional we have a little memento in a collection of some videos and write-ups uh, from some very good uh, websites and very uh, accurate accounts of the games as well a little write-up of ourselves so we pay tribute on those anniversaries and this game is definitely one of the greatest of all time make sure you check out that write-up for the november 23rd pigskindispatch.com 
November 23rd, 1988, the Edmonton Oilers, number 99, the great one, Wayne Gretzky, scored his 600th NHL goal. Now, we were just talking about it yesterday or day before uh, in 1986 where Gretzky hit his 500th goal. So just two years later, he had 100 more goals. Do the math on that, 50 goals a season. Pretty good numbers. November 23rd, 1991. It takes us to Brigham Young University and quarterback number 14, Ty Detmer, finished his NCAA career with a record 4,031 yards passed in a season and 15,031 yards for his NCAA career, which ended that day. And what a great player Ty Detmer was uh, for the Cougars of BYU. So that is your sports history for November 23rd. Your sports break will take you away from your life for just a few minutes. And I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you love this history of sports that we try to bring to you each and every day. Uh, For more great sports history, go to my friends over at SportsHistoryNetwork.com. Just uh, some great podcasters with some great guests and hosts talking about sports history of all eras and genres and sports. And I think you'll really enjoy some of the topics they're talking about there. There's thousands of hours of recording there, including our podcast, Jersey Dispatch, Pigskin Dispatch, and we're part of Orville Mulligan Sports Writer, too. That is on Sports History Network as well. If you want to focus on football, we have our Pigskin Dispatch website that we talked about just a little bit ago. Something new on there every single day of the year talking about football history. And, of course, jerseydispatch.com, home of this podcast, uh, home website. And uh, we're going to be really building that up here in the coming year as well. So, till tomorrow, everybody, have a great sports history day. We're dribbling around and see the shot clock's almost out, so we got to put up our shot and come back tomorrow for some more great sports history. We invite you to check out our websites, jerseydispatch.com and pigskindispatch.com, not only to see the daily sports history, but to experience the preservation of great events and people that play the games. Find us on Pigskin Dispatch. It's also on social media outlets of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel to get all your daily sports history. Pigskin Dispatch is happy to be associated with the Sports History Network, the sports headquarters of yesteryear, found at sportshistorynetwork.com. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com. Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman, a.k.a. the Football History Dude. And I hope that you enjoyed this recent episode presented by the Sports History Network and were able to learn some good old-fashioned sports history knowledge nuggets. I started the Sports History Network back in 2020 with the mission to help podcasters find a community of like-minded sports history nerds as well as helping aspiring podcasters to start their own shows. We have a little bit over 30 shows on the network right now covering all sorts of sports history, but as far as I'm concerned, we're just at the toothpick in the ocean moment, you know, that can't even figure it out because there's so much more coming. We wanted to create the ultimate headquarters for sports yesteryear, starting with Podcast Network and our website, but we're going to continue to move into other mediums as well. And here's the cool part, because we want you to be part of our team. So if you're interested in starting your own podcast, or maybe being a guest on one of our shows... Or who knows, maybe even writing an article for us over on the website. Seriously, all you gotta do is reach out to us on the contact page over at sportshistorynetwork.com. You can be as technologically savvy as a Neanderthal tapping on a stone trying to figure out this whole hieroglyphics thing back in the day. Again, it doesn't matter, because even if you don't understand the whole podcast space, we have a production team that can pretty much help you out with doing everything. All you gotta do, head over to sportshistorynetwork.com, head to the contact page, Fill it out. That message goes right to me, and I'll reach out to you as soon as I can. But for now, dude, I'm through if you're through.